Hi guys, this is Summer from WebCology, and today I want to show you how to use Gmail uh, to fetch your email that you've set up through your hosting account. Um, and then from there, I'm going to actually show you how to pull in um, your email using MacMail. So for Apple users, Mac users, um, you'll be able to use your um, MacMail to pull your mail so you don't have to log on to the internet. Uh, every time you want to check your email. Okay, so first things first. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our Gmail account and we're going to go over to the right where the gear is and we're going to click on settings. From settings we're going to click on accounts. We want to go about two-thirds of the way down and we're going to see where it says add a POP3 mail account you own. Now I want to point out to you this is not a place that you're going to be um, creating an email account you have to already own this email account um, and that's done through your email hosting provider okay um, I am using GoDaddy and I have already set up this email account on the back end um, with a password so now I am able to uh, go ahead and fetch this email using um, Gmail okay so I'm going to click on add a POP3 mail account that I own and I'm going to go ahead and enter the email address that I want Gmail to start fetching for me. So customer support at web .com. Okay, now this the way that we're going to be setting this up, this POP server information, this is going to be GoDaddy specific. Um, and I'll go ahead and discuss Bluehost a little bit too. They're two very popular hosting um, companies, so there's a good chance that you're hosted with either one of those, GoDaddy or Bluehost. Okay, this mail.websiology.com, it's defaulted here because I used to be with Bluehost. And this is actually how you would set up the POP server um, for Bluehost. It would be mail your domain name very simple mail dot your domain name but I'm no longer with Bluehost so it's going to be a little bit different for both GoDaddy and Bluehost your username will always be the email address right here the email address that you are trying to um, pull into uh, Gmail so it's going to be customer sub customer support at WebCology Com. And then you're going to enter your password. This is not your Gmail password. This is the password that you created whenever you set up your email account under your hosting. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. Now, again, because I'm no longer with Bluehost, I have to change my pop, my incoming pop server to um, GoDaddy's incoming pop server. And GoDaddy's um, default is pop dot secure server.net pop.secureserver.net I'll leave the port at 110 and I'm going to go ahead and click label incoming messages to um, customer support at webseology.com I'm doing this because I have several different emails that I pull through this account and I'll be able to go ahead and easily filter through um, my emails if I label them I'll be able to click on customer support at webseology.com over here on the left hand side uh, again to sort them and it will only show those email uh, those emails that are coming to that address. Okay, so from here I'm going to click Add Account. Yes, I want to be able to send mail as customer support at WebCology. Most of the time, you're going to want to click Yes, um, unless you have no intention of being able to respond to somebody or um, compose an email using this email address and rather you just want to be able to pull that information and you'll respond to maybe a different email address but I want to go ahead and be able to do this so I'm going to check the radio box um, the radio button right here and then I'm going to click next step from here I'm going to go ahead and change it from summer to customer support um, I'm going to go ahead and click off treat as an alias and I wish I could tell you more about why um, just from most of my research, um, it's not necessary or it's not something that I require, my, that my emails require. So I just leave it as, uh, I just uncheck it. Um, next step. Go ahead and just 
set it up through Gmail. It is the easiest way, and I, I have never had a problem receiving email whenever I do set it up this way. I have set it up through my SMTP servers, and um, that works too, but this is easier, and it works just as well. So I'm going to go ahead and keep send it through Gmail. Um, next up. Okay, now, just like what it says, before we can send mail, we need to verify that we actually own this address. Well, we do own this address. We know that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Send a Verification. Now, I'm going to come back over to my inbox, and I'm going to patiently wait a, about 30 seconds. And um, this is just from my email hosting letting me know that my account is now set up. And I just need to refresh my page maybe. And there it is. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute, so you just have to be patient. Um, and now I'm just going to open that. I can do one of two things. I can go ahead and copy this code and uh, paste it into this box right here, or I can just go ahead and click. So I click there, now I'm able to send mail. Um, and as you can see before, when we check the box label, um, my email is coming from this to, to, uh, to this email address. Um, like, you, like I told you before, now I can easily sort through my emails. So, so that is how you um, go ahead and fetch your um, email using Gmail. And if I wanted, I can go ahead and compose a mail. Um, let me refresh this again. Let's see. Okay, now that I've refreshed the page, you can see now I have the option to send mail from any one of these. I have summer at webseology.com as my default. I can change it to any one of these and this will be the one that will show up here. But you can change it at any time. So if I want to go ahead and send a mail to one of my customers who maybe was having an issue and they needed customer support, I would go ahead and initiate my email using customer support at webseology.com. Okay, so that's it for, uh, again, using Gmail to um, fetch your emails. Okay, so I was going to go ahead and show you in this video how to then use Mac Mail to pull in your emails, but I think I'm going to go ahead and create a separate uh, video for that, um, which you will see in my list, um, in my YouTube list. So um, that's it for now. In this video, I showed you how to use Gmail to fetch your emails um, and also how to be able to send emails using your email account. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment box below. Thank you.